because I said I don't think I'd have strong in anymore, and they pull him. How about this? A six foot nine inch quarterback. When's the last time you saw a six nine quarterback? I don't think ever. Senior from Lafayette, Louisiana. And he can run it. Legging it out. Gosh, he's got some long legs. You're right. Tallest quarterbacks you can think of. Six foot eight, Dan McGuire. Remember, can quick. Oh boy. Snap over the head of the six nine QB. Now lefty. he'll try to punt it. Was he going to be lefty from the start? He just punted that lefty. I don't even think he's left footed. What can't the six nine quarterback do? He's left footed or not? I think he was. He's right handed, so he's probably right footed. But then he got that off with his left foot. That was the best left-footed punt by a 6'9 quarterback in football history. They put in, and for a lot of these guys, this will be their most extensive playing time of their career. Cox there in the middle. And a nice... I mean, he's got nice touch. Look at him stand. Look how tall he is in the pocket. Gosh, it seems like it'd be such an advantage. He can see over everything. They want Nate Cox to run their offense, so if anything ever happens to Strong, he's got a lot of reps running their offense. I, lo I love the way of a 6'9 quarterback to watch. I mean, I I've never seen this before. We were talking during the break, Brock Osweiler. There's another 6'8 quarterback, but this is the tallest guy I think I've ever seen throw a football. And he throws it in the right spot. Russ, you, you wanted to know if Nate Cox was a left-legged kicker. The answer is yes and no. He punts with his left leg, but he kicks field goals with his right leg. He <laughs> says his teammates get it they get confused about it, so he has to explain it to them. He told me that he is one of the most unique players you'll ever see.